Clubman's Homebrew coming at ya. I've been on a little bit of a hiatus from my commercial beer reviews. I've been doing a lot of, of uh, homebrews with the SJ Pour Experiment and uh, that was a lot of fun. I will say I, I, I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, trying all these homebrews and reviewing them and some really great stuff people are doing. A lot of fun, but I gotta tell you, I've been miss it's summer and I've been missing my IPAs. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I've got a good IPA here. I'm excited about this one. This one came in a trade with Intermezzo, uh, what is that, 1257? Yeah, Intermezzo 1257. He makes comments on different review sites and so forth. You will recognize him because he has the Mr. Magoo character uh, next to his name. Uh, anyway, I thank you so much and uh, today I, I'm going to be announcing all the rest of the beers that he sent to me, which is going to be pretty fun, on the uh, Homebrew Wednesday. It's probably already done by time this post. But this is from Hoppin' Frog. It's the Gangster Frog IPA. Oh yeah, it's a 7.5% IPA, so it's bumping right against that Imperial range. Um, it is 55 IBUs. They use... Citra, Amarillo, and Centennial hops. Uh, I think it promises to be a good one. So I'm going to get this poured and be right back. <laughs> okay, I'm pouring it and I can smell it over here. It sure has the right color, doesn't it? Is that not a beautiful color? Not much for head. I'm kind of surprised at that. Um, you know, and I didn't pour it too gently. I didn't pour it hard either way, kind of in between. So we got kind of a really light head, mostly a ring on there. I do see some bubbles rising up, but this is just that classic amber orangish color, almost a burnt orange, not quite. Really beautiful. I'm already smelling it, so I gotta get it to the nose. Here we go. <clears throat> oh my god, it's just alright, I'll have to take some more time, but man, I was just hit with this huge tangerine and I would say mandarin orange, really. Uh, the both. Oh, my lord. Oh, there, oh, okay, I don't even know where to start on this. There's so much tropical fruit, so much beautiful citrus. It's just, it's amazing. Again, this is, this is citra, amarilla, and centennial hop. So, you know, that citra is going to pull off all these crazy great tropical. Your amarilla is definitely going to bring in some of the grapefruit, but definitely the orange. And you got a lot of floral notes and a little bit of spiciness coming from that centennial. I'm getting, as I said, I was getting like orange and some orange peel, like tangerine really more, and mandarin orange specifically. I'm getting um, a, a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of mango off of it. Uh, uh, I, it's like some peel, like an orange peel. It's that lemon, or like lemon zest kind of slightly. Um, but yeah. Kind of that little bit of bitter coming off of it, uh, a little bit of grapefruit. Oh my God! I get I get a little bit of pine as well. Yeah, and it's very floral, very very floral. Um, a lot of floral hop notes, uh, slightly bit of earthy, just a, just a hint of a of a tea, like an herbal tea, just a hint, very light. I get a little bit of the backbone, so there's some nice malt behind it, I can tell. Uh, just a hint of breadiness on it. There's just a lot going on. This is very complex. It, it just it just sounds, it looks awesome. So, cheers, we're gonna get right into this. <laughs> oh, this is what I've been needing. This is what I've been missing. Plus, plus, this is a great IPA. I gotta tell you, it's a fantastic IPA. Everything I just said and magnified. There's just a light bit of caramel, mostly just a sweet, bready, uh, a backbone on it. Uh, I'm sure there's tons of two row in this. Oh, just a beautiful beer, beautiful under underlying backbone is just fantastic oh I need more of these um, 
I'm not sure which is hitting me hardest. There's so many flavors going in there. Now in the flavor, I'm getting more on the citrus side. I'm getting I'm getting some of that grapefruit. I'm getting definitely like an orange rind, you know? Some zest from the orange, you know? And uh, But I'm also really getting these earthy flavors. And they're not heavy earthy. Sometimes they're heavy. This is just a light, really appealing, earthy, light herbal tea-ish on it. But the tropical's still there. You're still getting hints of the mango, hints of the pineapple. And it just keeps going. Got the, the orange and the tangerine and the rinds and the grapefruit and the pineapple and the mango and the a little bit of pine and oh and it's just all melding together and all over and very full and rich flavored not full bodied but full flavored really good it's a medium mouthfeel it is actually medium carbonation you know I did a swirl left you know just hints of lacing but you know that's nice that's all bonus that doesn't matter the taste and the aroma just knocks your socks off. This is a fantastic beer and a half. Uh, really enjoying this. All right, ratings. This isn't particularly hard. This isn't hard at all. For an IPA, uh, straight up, this is a 97. In my mind, it's world class. I think this is just kicks ass. This is good. And um, overall, I'm actually going up a notch. I'm going to 98 because for me, at least at today, this is just hitting that spot so well. My happy spot is very happy. Here it is, the Gangster Frog IPA. You got to get yourself some gangster, folks. I'm telling you, if you can get some Hoppin' Frog and bring this in, this is pretty fresh. Came in a few days ago for a friend that got it from the brewery. Dang. Get you some. Cheers.